Hi students, it's me, Vaishya Devi, Professor of Mathematics. Today I will teach you how you can take the derivative of the exponential form or the logarithm form. So many exams, in so many exams, this topic has appeared and so many questions can be asked regarding to this topic. Okay, first of all, I will tell you how you can take the derivative of the exponential form e raised to power of x. The derivative of e raised to power f of x is as it is e raised to power f of x and the derivative of the exponent that is f of x. Okay, derivative of exponent. Okay, let we take few examples. If e raised to power x square plus 2x is equal to y and I want to take the derivative. e x square plus 2x then first of all as it is and then derivative of the exponent x square plus 2x that is e x square plus 2x and derivative of x square is 2x derivative of 2x is 2 and this is your required answer ok another example regarding to the derivative Echo of exponential form y is equal to e raised to power sine x and the derivative with respect to x as it is and the derivative of the exponent that is the derivative of sine x e sine x what is the derivative of sine x that is cos x and also the derivative of its angle that is x. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So the answer is cos x into e raised to power sin x. Okay. If I want to find out the derivative of the exponential form when there is a, a any constant number raised to power f of x. As it is log base e of a derivative of exponent. Okay, first of all, then we want to find out the derivative of 5x. This question has appeared in both examination and different address exams. Okay, I want to find out the derivative with respect to x. You can see here what is the difference between the previous exponential form and this one. Here the exponential form is a base is e and here other than e that is a. So it may be any constant number like I take 5. So derivative of 5x according to this formula. First of all as it is and then log of base this log e basically natural logarithm so i can write log e as ln so what is base here 5 so log of 5 and the derivative of exponent so this will be 5x log 5 1 this is your required answer okay another example a raised to power cos let's change the angle that is 3x okay what is the derivative of this exponential form d over dx because variable is x d over dx a raised to power cos 3x so according to the definition as it is and here base is a so you can take log of a and the derivative of the exponent that is cos 3x a cos 3x log of a what is the derivative of cos 3x derivative of cos is minus sin 3x and the derivative of its angle so you can see here log of a after arranging a cos 3x and this minus become 
behind sin 3x. What is the derivative of 3x? 3 is a constant quantity. It will become outside from the derivative. x with respect to x, 1. So the answer is here, 3. So this is your required answer. Now, I want to find out the derivative of the logarithm form. Okay. Let's take here. I divided two cases log with base e, log with base a. So, first of all, I will take the derivative of log when it is base e, natural logarithm. Okay, when there is a function log sin x plus x. Let's suppose I want to find out the derivative. So the definition according to the definition with respect to x d over dx log of sin x plus x okay what is inside the log divide by 1 so it will be 1 by sin x plus x and next take the derivative what is inside the log according to the definition Divide by 1, 1 over f of x, okay, and this is the derivative, what is inside the log, here f of x, so you can see here, the same quantity f of x, okay, what is inside the log here, sin x plus x, so I am taking the derivative of sin x plus x, okay, 1 over sin x plus x, what is the derivative of sin x with respect to x? That is cos x. And what is the derivative of this angle? That is 1. And what is the derivative of this? That is 1 with respect to x. So this is your required value. Another example. Find out the derivative of log ex plus e minus x. Okay. Now I want to find out the derivative. Okay, I take, change it with the power 1 by 2. First of all, use the definition. Uh, or you can say the property of the logarithm. This 1 by 2 become behind of log. And I simplify this function. And then I will take the derivative. Okay, now I can take the derivative with respect to x. 1 over x. As you can see here, this log is the natural log term. So, divided by 1, what is the function inside the log term? ex plus e minus x. And in the end, you have to take the derivative. What is inside the log term? That is ex plus e raised to power minus x. Okay. You can simplify it. ex plus e minus x. As I showed you in the beginning of my lecture that how you can take the derivative of the exponential form. So I am taking the derivative of exponential form ex as it is. What is the exponent x? So the derivative of this exponent is 1. Now, as it is, what is the exponent here? Minus x. So the derivative of minus x is minus 1. So I put here negative. So the final answer ex minus e minus x divided by ex plus e minus x and divided by 2. So this is your required quantity. You can also convert this quantity in the hyperbolic form but I will tell you in my next lecture. Okay. The next one I want to find out the derivative of the logarithmic function when base is a other than e. Okay y log a x here plus 2x. I want to find out the derivative of this logarithm function. Okay, take the derivative dy over dx d over dx log of x here plus 2x with base a. According to the definition now, divide what is inside the log by 1, x square plus 2x 
Okay. Now, again, take the natural log. What is the base here? Here base is A. So you can put here A. And take the derivative. What is inside the log? So here x square plus 2x. Now you can simplify it and arrange 1 over log of a into x square plus 2x. And what is the derivative of x square with respect to x? That is 2x. And what is the derivative of 2x? That is plus 2. So this is your required value. The last one. Okay, y is equal to log. I change the base is 10. Sin x plus sin x plus cos x. Okay, I want to take the logarithmic value that is according to the definition 1 over what is inside the log sin x plus cos x. Okay, now 1 over log natural log base what is base here 10 so you can put here 10 okay now take the derivative what is inside the log sin x plus cos x okay now what is the derivative of sin x cos x the derivative of its angle that is 1 derivative of cos x minus sin x and derivative of its angle 1 so you can put here sin x cos x into 1 minus sin x into 1 divided by log of 10 into sin of x plus cos of x. So hope you will able to find out the derivative of all type of the exponential and logarithm form. Hope you liked my video. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, comment on my video.